There was a lot of energy in that boardroom today, and yes, it was the first uh, in-person board meeting in three years since before the pandemic. It was also the first board meeting since Wellstar announced the closing of the Atlanta Medical Center. So yes, it was high energy. There was also a lot of anticipation, leaders recognizing that Grady is set to change and it's going to be a very defining time for this hospital in the coming weeks and a defining time for the healthcare system across Atlanta. Governor Brian Kemp, Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens, DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman, and Fulton County Commissioner Rob Pitts. These four met and hashed out a mega investment to Grady Hospital. State allocated funds. Sources tell me between 100 and 200 million dollars. It is north of 100 million dollars. It's a significant investment that I think will have a major impact on restoring uh, the safety net that's been broken. According to sources familiar with the negotiations, the money will go to adding more bed capacity at Grady and offsetting labor costs in light of Wellstar's 450 bed Atlanta Medical Center set to close November 1st. We need more beds, we need more money, and the governor is uh, uh, stepping up, but I'm also doing some math and some critical look at bedding uh, to see if this is going to be enough to fill the gap that's being left by Wellstar's departure. Dickens said with AMC closing, the city of Atlanta needs at least 250 more hospital beds. In its first board meeting since Wellstar announced the closing of AMC, Grady leadership said they're pursuing a capital project to increase the hospital's bed capacity. Administrators would not give a number but confirm the recent investment talks saying, quote, we're in discussions with the state and other elected officials on the funds necessary to support Grady's infrastructure needs and operations due to AMC's impending closure. CEO Thurman, just proud local leaders are stepping up to stabilize Grady and the region's access to health care. The loss of one hospital, the loss of the uh, emergency room on the south side. If you look at all of these events, you're beginning to see uh, that we're moving in a way that might create a crisis uh, in the near future. Now, the formal announcement to this special one-time payment to Grady Hospital that, again, I'm told is between $100 and $200 million. That announcement could come any day now. There was a board meeting today. The next board meeting here at Grady is set for mid-December, and leaders today said that a lot is expected to change from now until then. In Atlanta, Patrick Quinn, CBS 46 News.